Hey everyone, welcome to the final video in my Logic Pro 11 side chaining techniques course. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up frequency dependent side chain ducking. And we're gonna do this using the multipressor to split up our frequency spectrum into three different bands. Now, the multipressor itself does not actually have a side chain input. So the technique I'm gonna demonstrate in this video is a bit of a workaround. However, if Apple updates the multipressor one day with a sidechain input, I'll be sure to update this video. Okay, so to get started, I don't actually want the multipressor here, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. And one other quick thing I wanted to show you that I should have shown you back in part 13 is how you can have two different instruments with two different noise gate ducking effects, or really only one is a ducker. So like right now, the strings are being ducked by the noise gate, and so is the bass. And the way this is set up right now, the kick drum in the drum machine designer track is what is doing the ducking. But if I put the bass, but the strings in ducker mode, watch what happens. So here, the noise gate is triggering the bass to play. So we're not gonna do anything else with the bass, I just wanted to show you that's kind of a cool trick. And on the synth string pad, what we're gonna do is we're gonna temporarily bypass the gate that's on it, and we're gonna create three aux tracks with three sends on the synth pad. And the reason for this is we want to break up this channel into three different frequency bands. And you could do this with multiple tracks if you wanted. If you have multiple instruments that you want affected by this frequency dependent ducking, you can totally do that. Okay, I'm just gonna set each of the send amounts to unity for now. And then I'll just rename each of these aux tracks low, mid, and high. I'm gonna go ahead and bring these out into the tracks area and bring them up next to the synth string pad. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna make each of these sends pre-fader sends. And the reason why we want these to be pre-fader sends is because we actually don't wanna hear any of the audio signal coming from the track itself, the instrument track. So we're gonna pull that volume level all the way down, but we're still going to hear the signal coming to these aux tracks. So let's mute the mid and high frequency tracks and let's add the multipressor, which you can find under dynamics. This is just a multi-band compressor, and we're actually not even going to be using the compressors inside of multipressor. So what I can actually do is bypass all of the compressors. I'm only going to split up the frequency range into three bands, so I'm gonna disable band number four. And so you can see now I have a low, mid, and high frequency band. <laughs> Okay, so let's determine where we want each of the bands to be. You can solo each of the bands and listen to them individually here. So maybe we'll do everything up to 300 hertz, and then we've got a high frequency band starting at around 1K here. and then our mid-frequency band. So the way I'm gonna set this up is we're going to duck the low and high frequency bands, but we're not going to duck the mid-frequency band. So on this first aux track, I'm gonna solo just the low frequency band. I'll hold Option and duplicate this over. On the second aux track, we're gonna solo just the mid-frequency band. Let's duplicate that over again. And then on the high aux track, we're only going to hear the high frequency band. So we'll solo that as well. And so now we have all three of those frequency bands split up on three aux tracks. 
So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this gate and I'm gonna move it over to just affect the low band and I'll hold option and drag it over to the high band. So now the mid frequencies will not be ducked, but the high and low frequencies will be ducked. Let's give that a listen with everything in. Now you could take this a step further and add other effects on each of these individual aux tracks, or you can add different types of sidechain effects on these. So for example, maybe on my mid frequency band, I wanna throw the gate on here, but instead of using it as a ducker, we're gonna use it as a gate. And instead of using the kick drum as our sidechain source, let's use one of the hi-hats. <laughs> Or maybe I want to switch around the high and mid band. Maybe I want this gated synth rhythm on the high frequencies instead of on uh, the mid frequencies. And then maybe I want my ducker on the mid, but maybe I don't want the ducking on the mid to be quite as strong. You can do things like that as well. So that's how you can use the Multipressor and Noise Gate in Logic Pro to create frequency dependent ducking effects. And you can use other side chain effects as well. You can try blending this technique with literally any of the other plugins we used in this course. And you don't have to use three bands in Multipressor. You could use two bands. You could use four bands. So try out this technique in your own compositions. I thoroughly hope you enjoyed this course. If you'd like to download all of the tutorials in this course ad free and get access to all of the demo projects I use throughout the course so you can practice along with me. You can purchase the course available at logicproguide.com. Thank you so much for the support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.